The Loyola Bookstore is packed on a Friday afternoon, but they're not here buying books. As the Loyola Ramblers head into their Sweet 16 game on Saturday afternoon, fans are making sure they're appropriately outfitted for watching the game. I've got to get my gear for tomorrow, big game, we're going to win. It's a bonanza for the bookstore with relatively few students on campus because of COVID-19. Loyola's basketball success is bringing out Rambler pride in students and alumni. They're buying t-shirts, scarves, and gifts. What's the most popular stuff? Sister Jean anything. Sister Jean's timeless, uh, any, any new graphic we have. Many Loyola faithful like to believe the 101-year-old nun is not only their good luck charm, but also their connection to some help from a higher power. Loyola's director of Catholic studies, however, says that's not necessarily part of the Catholic school's teachings. God doesn't play favorites. Uh, people who interpret God think sometimes that God, God plays favorites. But it, it doesn't, you know, that kind of thing doesn't match any theology that's, that's uh, worth its salt. In fact, if God did play favorites, he'd have a tough time this weekend. Loyola is one of six of the Sweet 16 schools with a religious affiliation. That's why Sister Jean's pregame prayers usually center on players performing their best, not just winning. She just prays that, that, uh, that the team plays well, that they execute the game plan, that they inhabit their gifts, and that no one gets hurt. Here at the bookstore, they're already planning ahead for Loyola to win on Saturday. Once they make it to the Elite Eight, they'll take over this space so they can sell even more Sister Jean merchandise. In Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.